All right, we're back in the kitchen again with Chef Tony Johnson. Chef Tony, where are you from? Emory Conference Center Hotel. Originally? Always. Yes. <laughs> and Tony got this great book here. Bourbon Country Cookbook. Uh, new Southern Entertaining. And here's the actual recipe we're going to be doing on page 165. It's roasted pork tenderloin with bourbon glaze. As you can see, it is marinating. It is one quarter cup bourbon. And we're using some Jefferson Reserve, or you can use maybe some Basil Hayden's. It's got one quarter cup of soy sauce, quarter cup of Dijon mustard, quarter cup vegetable oil. It's got a quarter cup packed light brown sugar, three cloves of garlic minced up, uh, one teaspoon of minced fresh ginger, and one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, and of course, two pork tenderloins. Now, before you put your marinade on your pork tenderloin, save yourself about a half a cup for basting while grilling and to also drizzle on the plate when you're done. First things first, light the grill. Now in the meantime, we're gonna sit there and work on our sides and we'll roast off our walnuts for our Brussels sprouts. We have a nice warm pan. I'm gonna add our walnuts to there. What kind of oil is that? We're using sesame seed or grapeseed oil. But you can use sesame seed oil. There's even walnut oil out there to get you some more walnut flavor. But just don't use olive oil. Just don't use olive oil because olive oil is pretty strong. It's gonna take, take over the flavor and stuff. You add a little bit of salt to the walnuts to sit there and fill out some of the oils. As long as you start off with a nice warm to medium hot pan, it'll only take two or three minutes. You can start seeing where you got a little bit of brown right here. I think that's about it. We're just, like I said, it's a nice little quick couple of toss, put it on a paper towel to soak up some of that oil. Woohoo! That smells good, man. Wow. Definitely wait to eat them though. <laughs> there you go, yes, definitely. And for our other side, we have some fingerling potatoes. We have two different colors. We got our nice regular white, and then we have some purple ones here as well. So you cut them in half? We cut them in half. Any bigger, some of the bigger ones we cut in quarters. Just so you can get even cooking. I cut them in half that way, they're not rolling around all over the plate. No need to sit there and play catch them with your uh, potatoes. A little bit of salt. A little onion powder. A little bit of pepper. You give it that grapeseed oil. I'm just gonna give it a good little toss. I'm gonna put them in our clay pots here and we're gonna roast them at about 375 for about 15 minutes. They're smaller, so they're not gonna take too long. All right, now we got some Brussels sprouts going here. What are you doing with these? I'm gonna just take the tip off, cut them in half. All right, so now we got them cut in half. Again, it's gonna prevent them from rolling around. We're just gonna get them, shred them up a little bit. Brussels sprouts are one of those foods that actually taste better when you get really good dark char on them. Brings a lot of those natural sugars out and gives a really good earthy flavor. So you're putting them in the same bowl you use for the potatoes here. Yeah. You don't even have to wash it. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna slice this onion nice and thin. And half. We'll toss this with Brussels sprouts as well. Again, going with that grapeseed oil, salt, black pepper. Good little toss. Put it in our other clay pot. And these will go in the same oven, 375 degrees. And once both these are roasted off nice and fully cooked, we're gonna add some our walnuts to them. And then we also made some crispy bacon bites. And we'll toss all that together. Well, now that our coals are hot, we're gonna push them to one side of our grill here because we're gonna sear on this side and then finish by baking on the second side. So let's get our grate on here and get it hot. And 
the meantime, we're gonna put our Brussels sprouts and potatoes in the oven. These been marinating for about four hours, but overnight is best. And we're gonna put this right on the grill. Spray a little cooking spray on the grill first. A little cooking spray on there so it doesn't stick. And listen to that sizzle. Can you smell that? We're gonna let it cook for about two minutes on one side and let it caramelize until it's nice and golden brown. Let all those sugars go to work. And then we're gonna flip them on the other side for another two minutes and let that side caramelize. Look at those sugars go to work. And now that it's been cooking on the other side for about two minutes, the other side is nice and caramelized, we're gonna turn it so it's not directly on the coals. We're gonna baste it with a reserved marinade. And then we're gonna cover it and crack our vent halfway. And then we'll move the bottom vent halfway. So you're using the grill to sear and then bake? And then we're gonna let it rest on our plate. After about eight minutes, we're gonna turn it. Oh, look at that. And we're gonna baste it again on the other side. We're gonna finish it up until it's 145 internal temperature. And then we cover again. And as you can see, we're getting up to 145 internal temperature. We're gonna let it rest for about 10 minutes and it's gonna bring our internal temperature up to 150. Now our sides are finished baking. We got beautiful caramelization. We're gonna mix them together. We're gonna put our potatoes in with our Brussels sprouts. Add those toasted walnuts. Crispy bacon. And then we found this sweet maple butter, bacon butter in our local grocery store. And we're gonna toss it with this. With our tongs, we'll just toss and mix. Now after we've let it rest for about 10, 15 minutes, all those juices have come back inside. We're gonna slice them nice and thin. Sample. We're gonna put a little bit of our side here, our potatoes and Brussels sprouts, right in the middle. Take about five of these. Slices of pork can just go right over the top. And then that leftover sauce that we have, we'll just glaze the top of it. And let's enjoy, with a nice glass of bourbon, our Jefferson's Reserve with our bourbon maple glazed pork. Let's eat.